How do I get over here? Is there a way through somewhere? Doesn't appear so. Oh, how do I get on that side of the wall? Maybe I need to come through somewhere through the southern section. I don't remember. Let's go down and see if we can see. Let's go here and see if there's... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, game. There we go. Let's see if there's a way... I don't see a way to go that way. Huh. Does anyone know? How do you get onto the other Oh, well now I'm just automatically on the other side. Moment of your time. Sure, what is it? First, let me introduce the two of us. I'm Merrick, and this is my companion, Lo companion Lothander. I thought it would be nice for you to know our names, because if you don't take our advice, you'll be seeing more of us, too. I know that you've been taking an active interest in destroying the Iron Throne. Don't try to deny it. My companion and I are in the employ of the aforementioned throne. We thought it would be polite to give you one last warning. Stop interfering with our employer's business. You can decide to disregard this warning, but if you do, it'll be the last decision you ever make. See you later. Uh, no, there's no see you later if you threaten me. Uh, make all the threats you want. We aren't the ones with one foot in the grave. It's anybody stupid enough to get in our way who will pay the piper. Oh, we can't attack him, though. It is done. Huh. Okay. As I thought. Let's go into the counting house, I suppose. Oh. The counting house is closed, though. Uh, I don't know. Is it nighttime? What time is it supposed to be? Hour 21. What is that, like? Nine? Nine o'clock? Oh. Uh. Here we go. Simple. Storekeep. Welcome to my humble establishment. Show me a pretty bit of gold and you're going to have anything in the store. I've got the gold, but have you anything I need? That's the real question. He probably doesn't. Probably got a bunch of junk. Yeah, look at this. What is all this junk? Are you joking me? If there was some kind of better business bureau, I might report you for opening a store to sell this kind of stuff. Oh, she's got something like her. I just realized I do have two things to identify. Bastard Sword plus one. I don't know why we'd want that. What's this? Gauntlets of Weapon Skill plus one Thinko bonus. Oh. He'll take those. I think my character might actually be wearing... Oh no, his is even better. That should be good for our dwarf. Who's currently at a ten Thaco. This will put him at... Oh, wait a second. He's got Gauntlets of Dexterity on. If I take that off, he loses four... No, oh, yeah, I don't like that, actually. Wait a second. Plus one to Thaco. It doesn't hurt if I put it on, like... We got Bracers of Archery, though. Thirteen. Wait, if she takes that off... Oh, yeah, no. It's way better. Okay, we'll wait a second. I guess we could put it on our Cleric? It still works, right? Like, her thing goes a 12. Now it's 11, right? I mean, it still works on the sling. It's not as good as I was hoping, but... We'll take it. If you wish. 
Fine, fine. Alright, well, there wasn't anything too much there. Let's leave. Oh, how's our character doing anyways? How are we doing on leveling up? Oh, we're not even close. Okay. Other fighters, not even close. No one's really close anywhere. I mean, the closest next person is going to be Edwin. I suppose he's semi-close, but really, we're not close at all. Okay, let's... Let's go down here. Let's explore this, then we'll go east. One is not forced to walk in the steps of their father. Ah, uh, Elminster told me you'd pass by this way soon enough. Looking into the Iron Throne, are we? Elminster? Tedious old fellow, isn't he? I suppose I would be too, if I lived to see as many centuries as he has. But enough talk of the good, Orion. I have come to tell of the dark. You have a very special heritage, child. One that graces you with more enemies than friends, I fear. This city holds many secrets and dangers, and, as you have rightly come to suspect, the Iron Throne lies somehow at the core of it all. Your investigations will not go unnoticed, nor, like as not, unpunished. I urge you to carry the favor of Scar and Duke Elton, both of the Flaming Fist, as they are good men at heart and capable of providing you with some guidance and protection in this urban vast. But I tarry here too long. It is best we do not be seen together. Okay then, buddy. Whoever the heck you are. Iron Throne. Oh, that's weird. The sun just went down. Wait a second. There's literally a building called Iron Throne. I suppose that's maybe because our characters are... Maybe they marked it because we know. You gotta be joking me. Just looks suspicious. All right, we're gonna open this door. See how they react to this. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was on the west side of the city. Oh no, the Seven Sons is on the west side of the city. I think. That's what it is. No time to chit chat. Out, away, fly while you can. There be madness here, and I can stand it no longer. Madness in this much lauded tower. That there may uh, that there be malice here, I have no doubt. But madness, never. Then clearly you know it not. Madness swaths he or seethes here, and amongst Saravok's crazed acolytes it overflows. I'm a simple merchant, after a pretty coin, but I swear it isn't worth it to suffer this place so long. Uh, Saravok's acolytes, what do you speak of, and where might I find them? You'll know them when you see them, and should you continue on your maddened course, I have no doubt that, uh, that see them you will. Now I beg you leave, for I would rather gnaw through my own wrist than tarry here a moment longer. Fare thee well, all right then. Out with it. Another Our merchant. Is authentic. Really it is. Huh. Uh huh. Who's this joke? Hey, yeah. Uh Hey, welcome to the Iron Throne Citadel. Could you please state what business brings you here? Well, your death, obviously. Um... Uh, let's just go at the bottom. I'm here to kill all those who would associate with themselves with the Iron Throne. <laughs> sure this will go well. Oh. Oh. That, that guy was a pushover. What the heck? Uh, 
I mean, my gosh, that guy got nuked. <laughs> Just bam and dead. He must have been level one. Next. I should have joined the army. Where do you think you're going? Uh, upstairs. Where do you think you're going? Somewhere far away from wisecrackers like yourself, I hope. Guards up the stairs. We have intruders. My blade will cut you down to size. Fight for Direct guards. Your worthless lives end. I notice these guards all, you know, suck. Servox gonna be in a lot of trouble if this is the best he's got. Yeah. Just saying. Should have hired better guards. Hmm. And I should have trap finding on just to be safe. Maybe there's no traps, but He's oh done. well. rolling these guards. Money. Got any money on you? Oh, hey, you do have a couple bucks I could take. Thank you. Battle music. Huh. Da da da. As I thought. Okay. Apparently nothing of value on this floor. Let's go over the next one. Simple. Yeah. I guess this is one way to deal deal with it. If you wish. I mean, I'm thinking the one guy did ask ask us to be stealthy, but eh. Wait a moment. Could you please tell me where I could find Realtor? I'm. It's important that I speak to him. I've been given the runaround too long. Brave Terror's damn son, Saravox, seems to think he's in charge here. We must ask for a name before go uh, before we go telling the whereabouts of Iron Throne higher ups. I'm Nortuary, and your Iron Throne higher up answers to me. I've just arrived from Selgant in Sembia. The Council wishes to know how things are faring. Now tell me where I can find Realtor. Uh, Realtor's in the upper offices at the moment. If you go up there, I'm sure you'll catch him. Good. Finally, I get a straight answer. I should have joined the army. Uh, okay, well, we got rid of that guy. Let's see here. Oh, dang, I don't have a death to the Iron Throne option this time. Uh, We've just come from Cormier. With business going so well, we have brought a large sum of surplus money for your superiors. I'm sure they wouldn't wish to be kept waiting. That's funny, because last I heard, the Iron Throne was banned from operating in Cormier. Lying scum, I don't know how you got this far, but you'll get no farther. Yeah, yeah. That seems unlikely. <laughs> I can't believe these guards are level one. <laughs> Give me any lip. Alas, someone who looks like they could be of some assistance. The assorted boobs and dimwits around here have been of very little help. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid you've, you've mistaken us for someone else. I'm dimwit. This is my good friend, boob. And behind me you'll find brainless and moron. How do you do? My apologies. I have a tendency of coming across as a bit gruff. Comes with the title of Chief Negotiator for the Grand Dukes, I'm afraid. You may call me Emissary Tar. Now please, if we could start over. Where might I find the stairs to the fifth floor, as it seems? I have lost them entirely. Emissary Tar. Would it be untoward of me to inquire as to the nature of your business on the fifth floor? It's hardly a secret. 
The Grand Duke have sent me to negotiate a new iron treaty with Thaldorn. It appears that the Merchant's Consortium and the Seven Sons have voluntarily granted the Iron Throne temporary control over their mines in order to simplify the city's supply structure and thereby strengthen the war effort, should it come to that. I am here to ensure that we have access to that iron at a favorable price. The Iron Throne has been more than cooperative with us to date, and I doubt that they will change their tune now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have no intention of being late for my negotiations. I mean, you can't even find the what do you want? the stairs. I mean, they're right there. They're huge. Has anyone seen the stairs? Nothing there. Like, how can you not find the stairs? I mean, I know I'm blind sometimes, but I'm not that blind. Barkeep? You want some whiskey? Hey there, mate. Don't recognize you. Which is strange, considering I know everyone here at the Iron Throne. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Maybe I won't. None of your business. It certainly is my business. And I don't think you belong here. Intruders? We have intruders in the tower. You're gonna make me kill the bartender, really? The party's reputation has decreased by four? Oh gosh, alright, well. Let's redo that then, apparently, because the game will become unplayable with a couple of those. Sheesh. Four? Why would the reputation go down by four, I wonder? That's massive. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Tell these guys again where to go. There we go, we'll kill this guy again. Like, four reputation hit? That's massive! Like, I can't believe that reputation hit would be anywhere near that. Talk with her again real quick, and then we'll go back upstairs. Give me any lip, peasant. Do you know who I am? Wow, don't give me any lip, peasant? Eesh. All right, let's just save before we go up here this time. But, um, it I mean, done. my gosh. It really made Peyton playing a, like, certain kind of party, like, difficult. Minus four, and he attacked us? So the thing is, I could just not talk to him and avoid the problem. Oh, oh, who's this guy? Hmm, hello. You must be the city negotiators. Uh, sure. Let me see on the list here. Emissary, Emissary Tar. Right on time and a pleasure to meet you. My name is Destus Gurn, Assistant Chief Accountant for the Iron Thrones Operations on the Sword Coast. Now, just a quick briefing on our negotiating procedures before you head up the stairs. Thaldorn will be accompanied by a board of six Iron Throne advisors sent to us from abroad. Oh good, we can kill all of them. We also have a seventh member on that board today, a Mr. Lyle Espejo. He is there to ensure that things go smoothly in the time of this transition. Okay. Uh, please, Mr. Gurn, I have my own copy of the agenda. I don't. Yes. On the agenda, as you well know, or a discussion of our current offer regarding iron prices, and some notes regarding the output of the new mines we have acquired. Preceding all that, however, Mr. Espejo would like to have a few words with you about the positive change and dynamism, economic and otherwise, that he has been witness to in his recent travels through the, uh, uh, through the Sword Coast region. I do not doubt that you will find it interesting. But I have taken enough of your time. Please proceed upstairs so that the negotiations might begin. Uh huh. Sure, sure. The negotiations. Right. I guess let's go up there. You know this is going to end up in a fight, though. There's, 
There's almost no way we're talking our way out of this. Uh huh. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Who dares intrude upon our negotiations? Uh, my name is Emissary Tar. I am here to negotiate an iron treaty with Thaldorn on behalf of the Grand Dukes. How many Emissary Tars do we have now? Three? Fool, Miss Tar stands right before you and she was just leaving, weren't you, my dear? Honestly, this has gone on long enough. Uh, and who are you to say so? I've crushed all of those before you. And those before us were fools as you are. Those before us were weak as you are. Those before us were not all these guys. And I knew a fight was going to break out. That was quick. Doppelganger. Guess just attack. Get some spells going here. Do I have defensive harmony? Yes. Um... Chant. That's weird. Why'd he get killed? Huh, okay. Well, we'll just reload that, apparently. I don't know what caused him to get killed. Like, he normally wouldn't be targeted. Actually, wait a second. Does it matter which side we go in on? Could pre-buff, but I, I try not. Let, let's try not to do that. Let's see if we can do it without pre-buffing. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Okay, let's um try again here. Let's do that again. Um, I could throw a stinking cloud out to try to knock people unconscious. I don't all right. Uh. Oh, wait a second. Are we missing somebody? Oh, he's right there attacking this guy. Again, you disturb me. Uh, or that wouldn't be a bad choice. Let's try that. Let's have her do. Can't. Or hold person. That might be even better. Let's try that. Okay, good. Oh, that horror did a ton. Oh, yeah. There we go. Your worthless lives end here. Oh, well, this is going to be chaos. We got hit by a confusion spell. Except for Kagan. And they got hit by... I don't even know. Like, look at this. This is just chaos. We're almost my whole party is confused. But their whole team is like horrid. <laughs> like, there's just chaos. <laughs> well, um. I guess I need to try to keep an eye on my party. Oh, is this. This is Kagan. Let's have him drink a potion real quick. Okay, um... I guess let's attack this guy? This dwarf's not feeling too good. How is this spell still going off? Isn't this guy dead? I have no idea. That's weird. 
Oh, I can't do that. I don't have any more heals on this guy, though. Oh, there's an invisible person casting spells. Ooh, our party's back. Okay. Let's drink that. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Drink that. Cast a heal on him. What you want? This way. Back him. Edwin's still confused. Oh no, he's not anymore. You are so irritating. Attack them. She still needs to cast that spell. This has just gone to chaos. I think we're winning. I think. <laughs> That horror spell was huge. Oh. Right? There's no one left. I think we killed everybody. I think. I guess we should make sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah we killed everybody. Awesome. That was ridiculous, yeah, though. All right, huzzah for us. Let's hit a couple heals. In case we end up in any more fights. Might as well use all our healing spells. Top everybody off. <sighs> I can't believe that happened like that though, with the confusion and the horror spell going off at like the same time and just causing complete and utter chaos. Alright, yep, we'll just hit everybody here with some spells. I also need to grab some more um, potions off of people and give some to Kagan. Our party doesn't look too bad. Okay, so let's grab... Hmm, everybody's actually a little low on potions, aren't they? Grab these two. Grab one from you. Okay, because this is fire giant strength. Oh no, it's a potion of explosions. Well, that's fine. You can have that. That's fine. All right, let us quick save. We did it. Huzzah, huzzah. Hmm. Gem. That's all that I got? Oh, that was the doppelganger. Oh, wow, look at all those spell scrolls. Have what Ed, is it now? Edwin My loot this guy. Is. Looks like they have a statue of a hobgoblin in their place. What the heck? Oh my gosh. How many scrolls I got in here? Um. Wait. Oh, no, he doesn't have that one. Oh. Protection from undead, that could be useful. We'll keep that. Okay, uh... Let's just hold on to this fireball scroll. We'll lob that at somebody at some point here. Yeah, good. Okay, well that was a nice pick up there. Um, confusion must have been the uh, spell we didn't get last time. Oh, that one that didn't succeed. Oh, there's a guy up here. Don't want to forget him. I think we've looted everybody, right? We're not missing anybody, I don't think. Scroll, I have a task for you and those you have selected. You, the first of the faithful, are to stand ground in my stead. Be assured that I would not belittle your devotion with simple guard duty. 
This chore is of particular interest to me, and thus to you. Orin has become a thorn in my side. I wish it removed. Do so, and you shall please me greatly. Such is your charge. Do not fail in this. Well, guess what? You failed, buddy. Alright, let's see what these weapons and stuff are, if we can. Our ability to identify is kind of, you know, terrible. You know what? Let's give him stone giant strength, actually. What is this potion? Antidote? Okay, that's fine. Potion of perception. Find and remove traps, pickpocket, hide in shadows. Oh, wow. Give her that. Let's put that on, actually. Medium shield plus one. Halberdier. Mace plus one. Bracer. So, shield. She can probably use this mace. Yep. Fuck that. She doesn't... She does use a shield? Did she use the medium shield? I don't know if she can, actually. Let's find out real quick. No. Um, all this needs to be identified still. Fine. Okay, let's go look around up here. 